Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be talking about my March TV yard. Let's get going. So my first one is Song of Silver, Flame and Night by Emile Rangel. Once Lan had a different name, now she goes by the one the Atlantean colonizers gave her when they invaded her kingdom, killed her mother, and outlawed her people's magic. She spends the night as a song girl in Hak Gong a city transformed by the conquerors, and her days scavenging for what she can find of the past. Anything to understand the strange mark burned into her arm by her mother in her last act before she died. So, I'm excited about it. It sounds really interesting, so, and I'm hoping I can get to that book. Next one is Daughters of the Dawn by Serena and Sasha Nanua. And this is the single and the final book of Sisters of the Snakes. And I think we're actually being picked off when the last book has ended. So now we have Rhea and Nani and they have to search for the bloodstone that has been fallen into the hands of the enemy. So now they have to get it back or otherwise everything that they know will be destroyed. And my next one is Length's Edge by Linda Clipstone. And we have Violetta Graceling would do anything to protect her younger brother Evan. Plagued by nightmares, he possesses forbidden black magic that spills from his fingers as shadows with a notorious Roman civilian. Known as the Monster of Length's Edge, discovers Evan's magic, Lita fears the worst. She is shocked when Roman instead presents a risky offer. Refuge and his Link's Age estate in exchange for Eren's powers. So, I don't know why, but this just reminds me of Phantom of the Opera. I just don't know why it really does. But, the, like, the cover is so beautiful. It's eerie, it's like dark, I just love it. Of course, we have something outside happening. Really? I'm filming! Man! So, this book was actually supposed to be for my February TV, but I didn't get to it. I was out sick and like the, that, like the end of February, so I was out. And this book was A Luminous Fate by Kaylee Smith. And we will follow in this stories is a cursed realm ruled by Mother's gods of fate. And no one understands the fate's wrath more than Calopee Rosewood. Blessed with unspeakable powers that terrify even the most dangerous witches and fae, Kala hides her forbidden magic in shame and fear that one wrong touch could send her to her death. With, her, with only her two best friends in tow, Kala deserted her convent and has been on the run ever since. And basically they are trying to erase the walls of fate by and all that fun stuff. And the last one, it is Soul of the, Soul of the Deep by Natasha Bowen. This is a sequel and the final of the duology, which was Skin of the Sea, which I actually have read it. So and this is just basically a continuing of, this, of the first book. So I kind of liked how the first book ended. I, like, I actually never thought I would pick up the sequel. I don't know why. Um, but like... I actually kind of liked how the ending of the first book, so... To save those closest to her, save me between every, everything, her freedom, her family, and the boy she loves. Now she is sworn to serve a new god, watching over the land of the dead at the bottom of the ocean. But when signs of demons appears, it clears there are deeper consequences of Simi's trade. These demon spells the world's ruin, and because of Simi, they now have a way into the human realm. With the fate of the world at stake, Simi must break her oath and team up with the scheming trickster of a god. And if things succeed, perhaps Simi can also unbreak her heart along the way and find herself again. Also, the cover is really pretty. I mean, look at it. It's just so pretty. I like how it's vibrant. It's just so pretty. All the books I have for my March TV on. So please let me know what you guys are reading for this one and please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post and I will see you in my next one. Bye!